Hey, what's up? So if you're a gamer and you suffer from hyperhidrosis, which is when your hands, especially your palms, profusely sweat while gaming and while gripping something or when you're nervous and it becomes hard to game because you can't hold the controller properly and it's really uncomfortable, first thing you want to do is get a controller grip, a nice silicone one. This is 10 bucks on Amazon and I can't recommend it enough. It super helps. Uh, it makes your hands grip the controller better and I hardly even notice when my hands are sweating and it happens much less. So that's my first piece of advice, but here's how you're going to stop the problem. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by washing your hands. And you need to wash your hands really well, and you need to wash your hands with cool water. It doesn't have to be overly cold, but it can't be warm. You don't want to encourage your hands to sweat. So you want to start by rinsing off your hands like this. Then you want to take soap. You want to take soap that doesn't have um, any moisturizer in it or anything like that, because that's just going to add to the problem. So you want to go and you want to get a good amount of soap onto your hands. And so I'm going to show you how a nurse or a doctor is going to scrub their hands so you get everywhere. So what you're going to start by doing is you're going to interlace your fingers and you're going to go like that. I learned this from my baby moms who's a nurse and this is how they sterilize their hands. So you're going to go like that and you're going to really get in there. You want to get down into the crux of your fingers and get everywhere. And then you're going to come here and you're going to rub your two palms against each other like that. You want to really, really do that well. You want to get the soap nice and sudsy. And then you're going to do the same thing on the top of your hands, which aren't as important for what we're doing, but we're still going to get them anyway. So you're going to do the top of your hands like that. Then you want to come through like this. You want to just get everywhere. Go all the fingers one by one. Get the thumbs. You want to then take the tips of your fingers like this and do them in there, which will help your palm and which will clean the tips of your fingers. So you want to do that. You want to keep scrubbing. Now you want to do this for 30 seconds to a minute. Closer to a minute is much better. You know, the more scrubbing, the better. It's not going to hurt. You're going to get rid of any of the oils in your skin, some of the moisture, so you're going to help your hands stay clean. So, remember, use cold water, because warm water is going to encourage your hands to sweat. This will help close up your glands. Now what you're going to do, when that's done, is you're going to come here, shut that off. You're going to dry your hands really, really well. So you want them to be bone dry. Paper towel works really well to do that, but if not, you can just use any dry towel. Make sure the towel is not damp. So you want your hands dry. So once you're done drying your hands here, you really want to wait like five minutes to let your hands really dry out and get that moisture out. So we'll be back in five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes. You can even wait 10 if your hands still aren't dry, but my hands are nice and bone dry. Like I can really feel it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some baby powder. Now, cornstarch also works. It doesn't really matter what you have. I just have baby powder on hand. But if you don't have that, you probably have cornstarch in your kitchen. If not, a box of it is like $2. So you're going to take the baby powder. Now, you're going to put it in your hands. Now you're going to rub this into your hands as best you can. Don't be afraid. Get it in. Get it everywhere. Like that. Some more on. You want to get a decent amount. You want to get it everywhere. So once your hands are nice and covered in it, you know, once it's everywhere, there's a thin layer everywhere, all you're going to do is you're going to keep it on your hands for 15 minutes. So go watch a YouTube video, do whatever. You just want to leave it on your hands for 15 minutes. So I'm going to leave it on my hands for 15 minutes. And then we're going to come back, we're going to clean it off, and then your hands aren't going to sweat as much. And this makes a big difference. It really does. It's not perfect, but it definitely makes a big difference. Also, one other thing is you want to watch what you eat. If you're eating fried foods, um, it's going to increase sweating a lot. So if you're eating healthier, you're eating a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, not a lot of oils, you know, you're going to sweat less. You know, if you're in a cold environment, you're going to sweat a little less. If you're in a really hot environment where you game, you're gonna sweat more. So anyways, we'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a dry towel, a fresh dry towel, and I'm gonna wipe 
all of the excess off. Now once it's wiped off, you'll feel, your hands are going to feel very dry. And they're not going to feel like they're going to sweat as easily. Now, you don't want to wash your hands with soap because uh, if you do that right away after, it really defeats the purpose of doing this. But you want to dry as much of it off with this towel as you can. You know, it's also handy to keep a towel beside while you're gaming and actually wipe your hands, you know, keep your hands dry. This towel will also work really well because it has the baby powder in there, so it'll help dry it. So what the baby powder does is it sticks to your skin. It helps close and clog your pores, but it also absorbs the oil in your skin and all that stuff that's already there. So it's going to help your hands quite a bit stay dry. It really works, you know. I do this all the time if my hands are getting sweaty, and you'll feel it. Your hands feel like they have like almost a layer or something on them, but it works really well. So if you suffer from hyperhidrosis, sweaty hands while gaming, or, you know, a lot of people have it while pole vaulting and stuff, you'll see them with the powder ahead of time. That's baby powder. So they're doing the same thing. Athletes do it all the time. So that's how you solve hyperhidrosis. And that's how you keep your hands dry while gaming and stop sweaty palms. Have a blessed day. If the video helped you, subscribe, comment, like. And if there's any other videos you'd like me to do, just leave a comment. Have a blessed day.